Hey guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to make my favorite lunch for work. Mmm, these are so healthy and delicious, you're gonna love them. Hey guys, I'm Wendy Valencia and today I'm gonna teach you how to make Vietnamese spring rolls. These are what I take for lunch all the time for work. They're super low in points and they are so delicious. These are so simple to make and I make them on Sundays before the week starts and then I have them for the whole week. So before I get started, any of these vegetable or herb things you can leave in, you can delete. I'm making tofu today, but you can actually use chicken or shrimp. It's really the concept that's the most important. So let's just jump on in. Let's get into the ingredients list. First, you're gonna start with a mixture of basil and mint chopped finely together. You can actually just put the whole leaves down when you're rolling them, that works too. I just happen to like them chopped. Then you are going to have bean sprouts and lettuce chopped fairly finely. You can also chop it in shreds if you want. Then julienne carrots and celery. The next thing you're gonna need is a Vietnamese spring roll wrappers. And see this little picture here? This is what they're actually supposed to look like. Mine never look like that though. You can find Vietnamese spring roll wrappers in the Asian section of your grocery store. And then today I'm going to be making pan fried tofu, but you can use chilled shrimp, you can use pork, you can use pretty much anything is excellent on these. I've, I've done them all. This, this week I've just chosen to use tofu. And for this recipe, you wanna make sure it's extra firm tofu. And then you're gonna have a cornstarch in a bowl. And then this hideous looking jar is actually my peanut dipping sauce. I make this in huge quantities. And as you can see, I'm getting down to the very bottom. I'm actually gonna be using the last of this for the recipe. I'll link the, I'll put the whole recipe for the peanut dipping sauce down below. It's super easy and it's really delicious. It's one of those that you make to taste to suit you. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna slice open your tofu and drain it. You don't want any of that water in there. In fact, we're gonna be trying to extract even more water. Take that water away and throw it out. Then you are going to line a shallow pan with a paper towel because as I said, we're going to be trying to extract even more water out of the tofu. And then you're going to layer it with another paper towel on the top. On top of that, you are going to set another heavy dish that, that will nestle inside the previous one. And you're gonna fill it with some heavy cans you, because you want some weight to that top pan. And you're gonna let it sit for 30 minutes. And what's gonna happen there is that the weight is gonna force more water out and the paper towels will absorb that water. Now, let's get to julienning our vegetables. You can use pretty much any crunchy vegetable in this. I put snow peas in it, I put jicama in it. Really anything will do. I do recommend whatever you're gonna put in that you julienne it. And so 30 minutes later, we are going to take our tofu out and it will be much drier and this actually helps it, it cook better and hold together better in these spring rolls. And you're gonna start cutting it in thin rectangles. And I do two long strips per slice because that, that's about the width that's perfect for this. But you can use the wider slice. Again, the shape is really unimportant. It's whatever you like. Have you noticed a consistency in my cooking that my recipes are, I always are like, well, whatever you like because that's kind of the way I just cook. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to dredge each piece of tofu in the cornstarch. You actually don't use a lot of cornstarch. It's really just a dusting on each side. And you don't need to wet the tofu or anything like that. You just dredge it. You're not gonna use an egg wash, nothing, just cornstarch. And this just kind of makes it a little crispy on the outsides. Then you're gonna go over to your stove and you are going to take olive oil and give it a couple of rounds around the pan. It's gonna be about two tablespoons. 
and you want that to get really nice and hot you'll know it's nice and hot when it starts changing consistency on the bottom of the pan and i can tell that just by rolling it around it flows very smoothly then you're going to add your tofu to your hot pan and you're going to let it cook for a while and it will take a while it takes a lot longer than you would think it would I think it took me about 15, 20 minutes to brown these pieces of tofu. And halfway through, you'll turn them when they're a nice golden brown on the bottom. And then you need to remember to do the sides as well. Next, you're gonna get out your Vietnamese spring roll wrappers. And now in the grocery store, these come in all different shapes and sizes. I've gotten the larger ones here because I find them much easier to use. And you are going to soak these for about 15 seconds in really, really hot water. As hot as you can get it out of the sink or put it in the microwave and make sure it's hot. Not so hot that you're burning your hands, but super hot. And then you're going to put these on whatever surface you're going to roll them on. I actually like to roll them directly on the counter because our counter is granite and it pools the water really well so it keeps the wrappers really wet i don't know why it just works better on the granite countertop the wrapper doesn't stick to the granite either it, i don't know what it is about the granite it just works better than using a plate or a tray it's just so much easier to roll when you're putting your vegetables in you're going to set them obviously right in the center even though you're rolling it's easiest if you set them in the center and then you're going to start with your tofu or whatever meat you're using and put that on the bottom then you're going to add your lettuce your herbs bean sprouts your vegetables and then you're going to start to roll it and then the first thing you're going to do is you're going to fold up one side so that it covers your pile and then you're going to fold in the sides on top of that kind of like folding wrapping a package a little bit or swaddling a baby whatever imagery works for you and stuff is going to come out that's okay just stick it back in there and then you're going to keep rolling until it's in a tube now i will tell you this takes practice. It's not the world's easiest thing to roll, but even if they look ugly, they taste delicious. So it's okay. I am by no means an expert roller. And this is what they look like when they're all done. They're all nice and pretty and translucent. If you get a hole in the wrapper, that's okay. You can just wrap another wrapper around the outside, but each wrapper is one point. So if you add two wrappers, that's two points. So keep that in mind. And then the way I store them, because I make them in bulk, the way I store them is I roll them in saran wrap really tightly and that keeps the moisture in. I will tell you by Friday, the texture is very different. It's no longer that real soft, easy to eat texture. They're a little more hard. So on Fridays, I frequently have to like fill my pan with water and put it in the microwave for a couple of seconds and let them kind of steam up and then i have these awesome pyrex dishes that i use for my lunches and they are just perfect unfortunately normally what i do is i put a silicone baking cup with the sauce right there in it uh this time i made my rolls too long so i couldn't fit that in there so i had to do the sauce in a separate container and now this container will actually last me the whole week it's small, but I don't use a lot of dipping sauce because the dip, dipping sauce is point uh, costly for points. Now I did the recipe calculator on Weight Watchers and each one of these rolls is two points in this way that I've made. And I usually three, if I'm really hungry, two, if I'm not so hungry, they are really filling and the protein really satiates you and the vegetables really fill you up so generally for a lunch for me it's six points and then the peanut dipping sauce is two points for all of them again i don't use a ton of sauce if um it's two points for two tablespoons of sauce because i thin mine way down with water 
if you like a lot of sauce or you want your sauce thicker, then obviously the points are going to change for that. Make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see my latest video, go ahead and click right up there and I'll put up another one for you right there too. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.